The Boston Celtics have advanced to the Eastern Conference Finals after routing the Sixers 112 to 88. You look at this particular game. This game turned in the third quarter. Sixers outscored 33 to 10. Jason Tatum scored 17 of its 51 points in that third quarter. And that was the game. It was a wrap. Boston led by as much as 30. And they are going on to the Eastern Conference Finals and the Philadelphia 76ers once again lose out in the second round. You look at Joel Embiid, didn't really come up too big today. Uh, wasn't good at all. Six, five for 18, 15 points, only eight rebounds. James Harden, not much better. Three for 11, nine points. I mean, not very good. You needed your stars to come up big in game seven. And you look at the Boston Celtics, Tatum and Brown came up big. Brown had 25, Tatum had 51 again. And between the two, they scored 76 points. You look at the Sixers now. What do they do in this offseason? James Harden can opt out of his deal. He's probably going to be gone. Uh, we don't know if Doc Rivers is going to be around. Do they reprocess? Do they do a process 2.1 and decide to make some moves? We'll see what the Sixers do. But the Boston Celtics are on to the Eastern Conference Finals. And you look at the Celtics team. They look like a team that has unfinished business. They had it on their T-shirts. And they look like a team that has unfinished business. And they look like a team that will handle their business. And I said the winner of this series would win the NBA title. And I'm going to stick by that. I think the Boston Celtics will win the NBA title. I think they will beat the Miami Heat. And I think ultimately they will hoist another banner in Boston. So we'll see what happens. But again... A disappointing situation for the Sixers, disappointing for Embiid, di disappointing for Rivers, Harden, everybody. But credit to the Celtics and credit to Jason Tatum. They